You know, why do you need magic when you have muscle to just do the work for you, right? <laughs> So, this silly little game right here is Exanima, a roguelike dungeon crawler that boasts one of the coolest features I've ever seen. Physics. Lots and lots of physics. From the chairs you stumble on all the way to how your character moves and the arc of their swing. It all matters, and because of that, it can have a pretty high learning curve, and more than likely, fights are just going to seem like two inebriated drunks slamming against each other for the last mug of ale. But if you invest a little bit of time, that slowly starts to change. So today, I wanted to make a shield grappling character that abuses the physics system to exploit my enemies. We have the muscle, we have the means, and we have the spirit. One thing's for sure, the monsters are gonna be stuck in here with me. Ah! I'll be honest, it feels pretty good to be back in the dungeon. Anyways, welcome everyone to Exanima. Today we are joined by a simple villager known as Orb. He's also just absolutely ripped and his muscles are about as condensed as a diamond's, which is going to be extremely helpful as today I want to exploit the, uh, the physics system in this game to create a grappler character that will just bully, dominate, and ruin the day of most of the monsters within this dungeon. They don't know my name, but they sure as hell will when I dunk on them. And our best friend is going to be this barrel lid right here, which allows us to do just that. This is going to be our best friend for protection, for offense, for bashing, and for grappling. This is going to be our bread and butter. So let me slap this bad boy on right now, and uh, we're basically ready to beat the game. So long as no, like, 10-foot demon comes across me, we're going to be fine. But, um, yeah, if I couldn't sell the physics-based system in this game well enough, I'll demonstrate it right now. Every single object you see in this game can be interacted with by either me or my character itself. So I could pick up this chair and just put it right on my head. It'll stay on, I can walk around with this chair in my head, and it's just kind of... It's just gonna slow me down a bit, but I sure as hell can do it. So, yes, this game goes very in-depth with the physics system, which makes the combat... 10 times better once you get the feel of things, right? At the start, you're just gonna stumble around wildly, kind of like how Orb is right now. But after you get a feel for it, you'll still stumble around, but you'll be deadly at it. <laughs> you know? But, uh, yes, in order to demonstrate my newfound shield ability powers, we're gonna go say hi to the first enemy of the game. An emaciated man with a hatchet and some fury. It's, it's pretty scary. It's extremely scary. If you aren't Orb, of course, all I need to do is bide my time, wait for him to swing, load up my shield, and bring him to the ground. You see, just like that. <laughs> and the best thing is, I can keep him on the ground if I can uh, time it correctly. Get back on the ground, sir. I'm not done with you. No. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I feel kind of bad. I feel extremely bad. He's, he's literally just twitching. He's trying to escape. And that is our first victim of the dungeon. He died the way he lived. Pathetic. And now that you know what we're capable of, it's about time I try and uh, speed run this dungeon a little bit. Level 1 isn't really that bad, as it just has a bunch of zombies around the area. We probably won't come across a threat up until level 2 or 3. Most of these guys are absolute chumps. Pushovers, you might say. Other than this guy. This guy's kind of scary. He's got an axe and a vengeance, so well, let's play this a little bit more cautiously. And by cautiously, I mean just, uh, you know, closing the distance, bringing him to the ground, and hitting him in the head. Maximum trauma. <laughs> I just feel bad bullying these guys. Like, I'm just throwing him around like he's, like he's a little kid. Oh, sir, you can get up. It's okay. Feel kind of bad for that one. But you know what I don't feel bad about? Taking this dude's clothes. That's free gambeson right there. And I need some armor right about now, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, let's go open up this door and get the hell out of level 1 as fast as possible. As we're gonna have the key we need right inside here. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna take that jacket, sir. Thank you. We kinda got the drip. Really liking the cut of, uh, Orb's jib right now. <laughs> Alright, follow me. Let's pop this bad boy open. And continue right on through. Oh, hello there, ma'am. That's an axe. Okay. Gotta watch where I'm going with this one. Is what I would say if I just couldn't bully them to death. Onwards to victory. 
I'm not going to be spending a lot of time looting around and exploring as I've already done that in quite a few runs already. I'm here to just lay down the facts and try to get to the cooler monsters, you like skeletons and gremlins sooner, you know? And if I got to kill a few people to get there, I'm going to do it. Ooh. Hit him with the one-two smackaroo. We're doing all this with a torch, by the way. That's the funniest thing. And he's off. Okay. Well, that's just one less person I have to kill then. But uh, yeah, we're making really good progress right about now. Well, we are absolutely speeding through this uh, this whole zone right now. The only thing I really want to grab right now is a healing potion that we're going to need for later. And then after that, it's going to be smooth sailing. Okay, this is definitely not the way. There's just more zombies here. And is that a bedpan in your hands, ma'am? I would actually really want that. Really good weapon. So I'm going to see if I can wrangle her to the ground really quick and uh, procure that weapon. Okay, there's actually quite a few monsters here. We're going to have to be a little bit more cautious. <laughs> nice friendly fire, you idiot. Oh, it's just a mishmash bash right now. Holy hell. Concussion. <laughs> Now it's just you, sir. Come on. Get in here. Get in here. I wanna I wanna get in real close and personal with this guy. Oh man, it's it's a struggle. This guy's a this guy's zesty. He's a fighter. I respect the craft, man, but you're gonna have to get down on the ground now. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to break your back. Whew! That was a workout. I love the I love this game. No other game can get close to the fluidity of that whole range of motions. I swung in, brought him down to the ground with my shield, and I just absolutely bashed his groin in. Feel kind of bad for it, but at the same time, I'm sure it was well deserved. Hey, it looks like I did find it. I was just extremely dumb. Okay. So yeah, this bad boy right here is going to be super helpful. Uh, I can't demonstrate what it does right now because we haven't gotten hit yet the absolute monster that orb is, but this little thing right here is basically the equivalent of a medkit. It'll save our life, and I need to collect them as much as possible. And now that we have that, we can go ahead and speed run our way onto level two of this dungeon. And then the difficulty is going to ramp up by a little bit, but not by that much. Despite being a simple villager that cannot use magic, by the way, um, that is one thing that we cannot use. There is magic in the game. <laughs> I just chose not to because, you know, why do you need magic when you have muscle to just do the work for you, right? <laughs> oh, hit him with the three piece. Yeah, that's all you wrote. And hey. Oh, howdy there. Oh, oh, howdy there. Okay, that guy has a sword. Yeah, definitely don't want to get hit by that. So I'm going to wait for him to swing. Roll in. Ow, oh, my God. That freaking hurt, man. But um, as you see, that's exactly why you need a good helmet in this game. Holy hell, dude. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> he actually got taken out by the bar guy. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Anyways, get out of here, sir. I need a, I need a move. I can't believe I took such a big hit this early. Yeah, it kind of hurt, but we, we killed him and I will be taking his jacket and his boots now. But that's exactly what we need to avoid. And now you see on our bottom health bar, there is a little bit of red there. And that's because we got hit with permanent damage. The blue jars heal that. I am extremely disappointed in myself that I even got hit there. Well, at the very least, it'll be a good uh, warning that I am not immortal, right? It was only a little bit, so I'm kind of happy for that. Despite getting, you know, blasted by a sword in the head. But it's going to get worse from here on out. And as we traverse through this hallway, the entrance to level two should be right around the corner. You can tell it's a new level because of the big foreboding doors. In we go, then. Yippee! And welcome to level two. We actually did level up, so I will take maneuvering in armor three. But other than that, this is uh, still kind of an easy level. There's just mainly zombies here, so I'm not really worried at all. Yeah, right now what I need to find is another healing potion and the entrance to level three. I really want to get through these early levels as they're not super duper interesting. There you go. Was that so hard now, sir? Stay on the ground. I'm not done with you yet. Okay, there's another. Oh my. Oh my. 
I love I'm just throwing them around and they're hurting each other more than they are me. I love this. All right, we're done. I think I might be lost a little bit. Okay, then I guess I'll go this way with the two zombies right here ready to fight. I'm pulling out the bedpan for this one. You can't tell me otherwise. That dude has a sledgehammer over there. You know, that's scary business. Scary, scary business. <laughs> He's dead. And you are soon to be dead. Thank you. Goodbye. Ooh, still, still alive after that one. Respect. Oh, hello there. That is a that is a scary weapon. Hey, don't mind me as I just kind of as I just kind of hug you there, bring you to the ground really quick, and give you a good old uh, backbreaker. All right. If this guy gets a clean hit on me, um, my head is gonna be split like a melon, you know. So let's try and keep that to a minimum, you know. There we go. Bada bam, bada boom. Get dunked on. And give me that armor as well. Because that right there is a free male shirt and a free cap. Hell yeah. Anyways. We just uh, unlocked a shortcut. Okay. So I definitely took a wrong turn. I can always backtrack though into other spots. I'm going to get lost in here. I can already tell. There's so many different winding paths. So I'm just going to wander around randomly until I find something cool to maybe share with y'all. <laughs> oh, like a small little chest hidden under a, uh, a shelf. Nice, that's a, that's a male coif and a free waistcoat. That's definitely better than the one we have. Okay, we're looking a little bit more armored up and we look like an egg. <laughs> Perfect. Still have no read on where the other health potion is and I might just need to leave it. I'm keeping my eyes peeled though. I've been coming across a few zombies on the way, but we've been dispatching them pretty easily. Well, the one thing I can use for a marker is uh, all the dead corpses that we leave in our trail. So that's, you know, a good way to keep track of where the hell I'm going. Other than that though, it's just me going through random doorways, hoping I get somewhere nice. Out of the way, idiot. <laughs> I love just full sprint charging into people, by the way. It's the little things that bring me joy in this game, you know? Uh, oh, nope, he's running. They always run. I mean, I don't blame them, but it's just, it's just extremely annoying because I'm going to find them later. And sometimes they get a little bit of courage and they immediately come back running towards me, just like this idiot. When will you learn? Just make up your mind, sir. You're going to fight me or you're going to run away like the coward you are. <laughs> I don't have time for this. I, I need, I need to find an exit. Just absolutely closed lined her with that torch. Oh, hey, it's that one guy that ran away earlier as well. You got some more courage, I see. Well, good on you. Hey, he's dead. Hey, okay, never mind. We, well, we are making it places. This is where the hell that little sleeping potion was. Not sleeping potion, healing potion. You can tell because it's glowing blue. Give me that bad boy, and now we have free clearance to leave this place. Uh, I just have to figure out where the hell the exit is. These zombies aren't really much of a help. I, I just, I kind of want to dispose of these as fast as possible, given how easily it is just to bully them. <laughs> All I have to do is keep up the pressure. I can pin them against the wall if I really need to. I, I can take up their legs. I mean, like, they really can't even wind up their swings because of how little space I'm giving them. Like, look at him struggle in vain as he tries to, like, get a proper swing in on me. He can't. I I am just bullying this poor little boy. Or I guess he's he's a bald man, but you know, he's dead now. <laughs> There's just a bunch of like coffins and stuff, and I'm just trying to figure out where I stand right now. Um. Oh. Uh. Oh. Well, I guess it's our best bet. Into the abyss then. <laughs> This is where stuff starts to get a little bit more difficult. The the zombies you were used to are now going to be more or less uh skeleton monstrosities with actual armor. So, let's just keep our eyes peeled. I'm not worried as I still have my handy dandy shield and I'd love to see a skeleton try, you know. Okay, I'll be honest, we need to be really cautious now. Um, there's a lot of instant game deaths now, as you see from those 
uh, holes in the bridges. There's going to be some skeletons around the area. I just kind of want to get in and get out, you know? I, I was not expecting to take this path, but here we are now, you know? So we just gotta, we just gotta roll up the punches a bit. Where the hell am I? Okay, nice little graveyard. That's perfect. Um, and is that? Oh yeah, that's a skeleton down there. Well, I guess this is gonna be the the, the best litmus test for us all then. Hey there, sir. <laughs> oh yeah, this is where the fun begins. Don't trip into the grave, please, please. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now these guys are a little bit more smart than your zombie. They actually know how to fight. So this is a little bit more scary. As you see, this guy knows how to stab. He knows how to do overheads. Don't want to get hit by him. And that's why we got to keep up the pressure. Though he also knows how to back up. <laughs> I want his armor, though. Woo -hoo. Okay, yep, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That right there is what we got to worry about. Come on! God, this is scary. <laughs> okay. I just cannot get hit by this right now. If he hits me good in the head, that might be it for me. So I'm going to back up slowly, get a little bit of distance, and I'm going to pull off the ultimate move. It's called a tackle! Ugh! Nice. Keep up the pressure on him. Keep him pinned. Keep him pinned. The thing about skeletons, they weigh like five pounds. So if I can just keep on the pressure, he can't get a good swinging on me, all right? I am the grapple maniac. And you will never take that away from me. Get out of here! Ugh, get on the ground! Boom! Good hit, good hit, good hit! Keep up the pressure! Come on! Yes! Good hit, good hit, good hit! Bam! Beautiful hit! Maybe you should drink some more... Milk! Ugh. Nice! Boom! He's still squirming? He's still squirming? <laughs> this guy can take a beating! I mean, I am using a torch to fight this man right now, but holy heck! One more tackle. Ah, nice. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we actually killed him. And uh, we got kind of banged up there. So I'm going to go use my small healing potion. Your armor is now mine. I mean, yeah, look at look at Orb now. We're, you know, we're, we're a real certified knight. I just wish I had a real weapon other than this torch. Anyways, now that we're finally healed up, we shall continue looking throughout this place. I think there should be another entrance around here somewhere that will lead us to the to the real level three. And I think we also found the way out of here. All we got to do is fight this one skeleton with an axe right here. Bring it on. Ooh, this guy's feisty. I gotta say, it's a good thing I can just throw him to the ground and just bash his back in. <laughs> oh man, sir, are you good? I don't think he's good. Yep, bring them back to the ground. <laughs> I love skeletons. They might be smart, but they weigh so little that it's so easy just to manhandle them. Let's try. Oh, I got some distance on that one, sir. Are you all right? Are you okay? Do you need help? I think he needs help. I'm just, I'm, I'm literally just walking on him. I'm, I'm, I'm crushing every single one of his bones like that right now. <laughs> oh, it's okay, sir. Oh, no, it's not okay. He's, uh, he's squirming and he's dead. Anyways, peace out, and up to level three, we go. So, um, yeah, as I get back up, that level was kind of like a optional, more difficult zone. Not what we needed, and now this is the final level before the training wheels come off. You see? Back to zombies. Oh, I missed you guys. What kind of secrets were you hiding behind this door now? More ways to enter through. Okay, no problem. I kind of want to speed through this zone as well, so uh, I'm not taking any prisoners. If I see you running around these halls, uh, your life is forfeit. So get over here. I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, I forgot. I still have the bedpan equipped. Give me one second, sir. There we go. Now let's see the kind of damage we can do. Yep, that'll do it. A good old chop to the head now. We're not messing around. The shield and axe combo is probably one of the most visceral ones to come out as of late. Because you can just bring them to the ground and then hit them right over the head. Uh, they, and they think they, they can stand no chance as well. Oh, I feel bad. But I, I'll get my it soon. I'm sure of it. Now, there is one thing that I do want to find before we leave this place. There is a healing potion, but more importantly, there's going to be a night vision helmet, which will allow us to use any weapon uh that we so desire so i'm gonna be peeping around these rooms a little bit more closely and hey here it is 
Fun fact, you can press this stone in and it will reveal a small little hidden area. Check it out. Pretty rad, right? And within this spot, we have ourselves a night vision helmet. Wearing this, we're going to be able to see our surroundings even in complete darkness, which means we no longer need the torch. We look absolutely goofy, but now if we switch off of it, as you see, we got night vision. <laughs> ah, upgrades! Upgrades! And now that we have that, we can uh, head on over to the next level. Ooh, and is that a... Oh, it's a two-handed Warhammer. I was really hoping that Warhammer would have been a one-handed one, which would have been perfect for me, but sadly... Not the case. Where the hell am I? Out of the way, ma'am. I got places to be. <laughs> ah, okay, I kind of regret that one. Oh, you really want to fight me still? Okay. There we go. I am so lost, by the way. I've definitely done a few circles, and I don't know where the hell I'm at right now. And I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, oh, not the chair combo. Sit down. <laughs> Look at the way she died. Oh, that is... That is tragic. I am so sorry about that, ma'am. <laughs> Bozo. Oh, okay. Now this looks important. I think we finally got out of this log. I, I ran a few circles around the area, but this right here, these open areas, this is new. Okay, we're backing at it. Still looking around for that health potion, by the way. Um, I, I would really appreciate if I did find it one of these times. But if not, I can always continue to the next level without that much of a worry. Well, we got... Ooh, that's a nice breastplate. Not as good as the one that I have right now, though. Well, this hallway seems important, so let's go in through here. Hello? Oh, okay. There's a person here. I would love to introduce myself to you. Hello. And, uh, goodbye. Yeah, one bunk is all it takes. And now we get a pill for his entire b house. Isn't that exciting? And there it is. There's a healing potion. Okay, we're all set to leave then. Thank you for your service. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we're getting on to somewhere. Check this out. And what is pop in there, ma'am? She has a very nice sword. She looks skilled. Um, let's see how skilled she is, though. Uh, once I do the tackle move. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice try. And then we finish it off with the overhand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They never expect the tackle. Grr! Get on the ground. Yeah, that's what I thought. Woo, okay, that's scary. That is genuinely scary, though. That that sword could ruin me. Bring it on. You think I'm you think I'm worried about you? Yeah. Okay, she, she kind of has a lot of core strength compared to a zombie. That's fine. We'll just... Woo, I, I tripped myself up there. I will put this chair in front of you, ma'am. <laughs> Stay right there. I, okay, okay, she did not care about the chair. That's fine. Ah, get on the ground. Uh, on the table. <laughs> this is so uncoordinated. Yeah. Still have what it takes, though. And don't mind if I take that sword. Yeah, that'll do nicely. And give me your clothes. I want that jacket. Nice. And hello there. That's a skeleton. Well, I'm just gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna charge you down. We're not gonna give you a lot of space to uh, move here, sir. I'm gonna pin you against the wall. And you're gonna have to figure out what the hell you did wrong. Um, I weigh more than you, so I could stay here literally all day. I'm gonna wait for him to learn, and then I'm gonna hit him over the head. <laughs> oh, I feel kind of bad for that one. <laughs> I am so sorry, sir. No, it's okay. You can get up. You can get up. Oh, oh, the humanity. Yeah, just throw him against the wall like he weighs nothing. Ooh, that was a spine hit right there. That's gonna hurt. Anyways, is there another skeleton down here? Oh, it looks like your buddy came along. That's cute. Anyways, nice shield he got there, chuckle nut. <laughs> Will your mom give you that shield? Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, nice. We just dispatched them in like five seconds. I'm feeling pretty immortal right now. And this is gonna be the gateway all the way to level four. I don't like to talk about level four. I'll be completely honest with you. Once we go through this portal, there's no going back. And the weight class for orb here starts to dwindle. As soon as we go through here, we're going to find monsters that we won't be able to wrestle. So 
I hope you're ready. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Now, this is where the Eldritch uh, horror starts to come in, and I start to realize that we're not just fighting zombies and skeletons anymore. We're starting to to fight something far, far worse. Matter of fact, I will read out this parchment just so you get the vibe of this place. What terrible place is this? A thunderous voice shouts unintelligibly in my mind, as though trying to command me with wordless urgency. It's as though it wants to both urge me and soothe me. I am terrified I may succumb to this will. This strange helm is my only respite, but it leaves me vulnerable. There's also a constant wailing of ancient restless spirits. Has this presence been keeping them from finding peace? Yeah. <laughs> We're kinda done for. But that's all right, because I, I have the martial art behind my back, so we just got to take it a little bit more slow than usual, and I might get out of this just fine. And I got to say, the furniture is really nice here. You know, th that is something that you don't see every day. Really nice clothes, real nice furniture. Oh, I don't like the thunderous booms. Why do they have to hit me with the thunderous booms? I don't know where to go right now. Uh, I guess I'll take a little, like, look around the area. The doors are thankfully open, so we can traverse it pretty easily. Oh, okay, there's some skeletons here. Now, these skeletons aren't your average skeleton. They got they got the Gucci armor, so I need to be a little bit worried about these guys. And by worried, I mean we're just going to bully them all the same. <laughs> you think that armor makes you weigh more than what you're worth? Ah! Get on the ground, sir. There you go. And we go for his legs. <laughs> Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. Poor guy never stood a chance. Yep. Doomed to be bullied by people bigger than him. Even with that sword and that armor. Don't ever forget your place here. Yep. Cut him down just as swift as ever. And don't mind if I take that real nice armor. Let's continue delving through these dungeons with little to no issues. Hello? Anyone in here? No, no enemies. Well, I guess we could go down through here. Um, not really seeing much. Just some fancy, ornate furniture. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Where the hell am I right now? Oh, don't know, but there's some really nice doors here. And now, the fun begins. I'm gonna end it off here. This is as far as I go today. I might continue this in the future. But we've traversed like five different levels so far. We've dunked on just about every enemy. We did get a few hits in on us, but overall, we're doing fantastic with the shield. The shield is my best friend. Anyways, if you guys have liked this uh, episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. And I might need to at least make it to level seven. Who knows? Uh, this is Private Lime, out.